You're listening to Alabama Tradition with Ryan Fowler and Martin Houston on Tide 100.9 in Tuscaloosa. about Pastor's Mexican Food, the great place right there. Go see Pastor Garcia if you're looking for some great fajitas. The chips and salsa, always top-notch. The lunch and uh, dinner specials, Pastor Garcia Pizza up in Northside Pizza, uh, always great there. The uh, Mexican food up in Northside as well, but you'll find uh, the original location there off of McFarland Boulevard. Uh, Tommy, do I keep going right here, brother? Uh, do I keep going? Or do I stop and I reset? I'm... I'm you can you tell me because I'm oh 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 well. I mean I'm kind of like that Ohio going. State defense. I just don't know where I'm at. Uh, you, you keep going. Okay. Well, hey, then by I, the way, if you're that Ohio State defense, don't uh, you know have fun twisting Najee Harris's ankle. Yeah, they kind of showed their uh, their butt in that play. We're going to be with you until seven o'clock. We're going in one extra hour. Let's go to Darlene, North Carolina. Darlene, good afternoon. You're in the game. It's the best afternoon. It is. Roll Tide. <laughs> How was that championship? It was amazing. Yes, it Absolutely was. Absolutely amazing. Awesome. All the different words you can say about it. I mean, it was, I was, well, okay, don't give me crap, but I, I tend to be a nervous fan, but it's a good thing. <laughs> Because if I'm nervous, it means we're probably going to win. Sure, sure. But, I mean, by last night, I was ready to scream before the game came on. The anticipation. And when the game started, it was like, now this looks pretty good. <laughs> but then there's always the, oh, my God. And when they pulled within back within two touchdowns, I thought, I'm going to, this is not good. <laughs> but, no, they were great. And the minute Landon walked out on the field, dressed out to snap two times, the tears started running down my cheeks, and then the game was over, and they were all laughing and hugging and carrying him off the field, (laughs) and it was just unbelievable. It was just, it was an incredible year. Um, when you look at Alabama, what these guys have been able to do. Um, do you realize how much, though, and I've done it on purpose because I'm superstitious. We have not talked during the year enough, really, probably, about the fact that they were undefeated through X number of games. Or I don't feel like we did. Maybe it's just, you know, certain things blocking for me. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, just with... Think um... about it. Well, we were hesitant. Yeah, we were hesitant. Yeah, we were hesitant because, you know, I mean, Nick Saban has taught us rat poison. I mean, we all know that word. I mean, it's like part of our vocabulary, right? I mean. um, Well, my daddy used to say, we should win this game today, but don't tell anybody. As we were going into Legion Field, now, darling, we should win today, but don't tell anybody because we don't want, we don't want to be proud. Well, it pretty. We don't want to be proud. All right, so you've been a long time follower of Alabama Crimson Tide football. You you share stories. Uh, where would this season rank for you? This is the most difficult because of the because of COVID, and I think it's been even even without COVID, it would have been difficult because of the political strife, which I've been trying to ignore. Just can't deal with that. And 
you look at the team and it was like I just wanted to go up and really wanted really wanted to get a couple of <laughs> the OL or DL lines, get them on a plane, take them somewhere and beat the crap out of a few politicians, you know? Come on, people, get it together. <laughs> we have a world here that the that we were worried from day one about what were there going to be a season. And then the the commissioner of the Big Ten, no. Then the, well, I mean, you know the whole, I don't have to go through it, but every day it was one more thing to make you worry. Sure. Well, I mean, he tried to, uh, I, I, I thought they tried to bait you in, right? I mean, I thought they tried to bait. Alabama and, and not Alabama, but the SEC and the kind of falling in this Big Ten trap. Oh no, they tried to bait the NC. I mean, just the whole shit match into following them. And I was just, I'm not exactly sure. There are a lot of things about Sankey I might not like, but this this tack he took, it was the right one. And I know that he knew he had the coaches to back it up, especially one. And I'm just so thrilled for the kids. And we had a lot of teams that hung in there when they could have canceled games. I mean, I think in a couple of Kentucky's games, they had like 10 or 12 guys out with COVID. But they didn't forfeit or they didn't opt out. I mean, they went – they. You know the old general statement, you go to the war with the army you have. Sure, sure. They went to the game with the team that they had. No, I'm just thrilled that the best part of it was the team was so together. Examples of their humility. Uh, Dante Hightower was Dante Hightower. Excuse me. Hey, trust me, they all run together sometimes. I know they do. Okay. Our Heisman Trophy winner said when he was asked Oh, Devontae time, Smith, yeah, yeah. How is your hand? Oh, it ain't nothing. I'll be fine. <laughs> I'll be fine. And then Najee, when they asked him earlier, or no, this was last week, maybe before uh, the Rose Bowl. They said, what thing have you missed the most about this year? Is it your family, your friends being tied down? And you know what he said? What Not you- having fans in the stands. He said, I missed that from them and for me. Wow. Is, I mean, isn't that an humble thing to say? Yeah, it, it is. And, and you know... I mean, think about what we're watching. Uh, we watched the best running back, uh, you know, I mean, as far as a record setting. Uh, I know Derrick Henry had the season, the single season, but, I mean, you, you look at what nachi has been able to do. Uh, you look at what Mac Jones was able to do. You look at Devontae Smith, uh, Landon Dickerson, you know, winning the Joe Moore Award. I mean, Mac Jones finished with 4,500 yards. Najee Harris, 1,466. Um, what is it, F? QBR or whatever. Oh yeah, it is. yeah, yeah, and I haven't even looked at that. The, co- the quarterback rating, uh, yeah, oh, it's two hundred three point two hundred three point one. Now, uh, the quarterback rating, uh, there's a couple of different. There's one adjusted one, and then there's a seventy seven percent completion percentage, forty one touchdowns, uh, only four interceptions in eleven SEC games, and, and then the additional and two of them were in the Auburn game. Um, you know, you, you just, you, or is that only this year? Uh, I, I can't, I don't, don't look it up, Ryan. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I, I just don't know what, uh, I'm trying to think. I mean, yeah, he had one against Notre Dame. Um, uh, well, I think the a, thing we all need to know, well, number one, what I want to tell everyone out there, I, I've been through oh, I, well, quite hey. a few championships. But this one is so special because I think the team's so special. Well, I, th- I, just, I think there's an emotional attachment to these guys because they give us something to to kind of root for with all this 
uh, negative mask wearing, you know, COVID. I well, mean, and I think with the Bryant teams, it was a different time, and they were cleaner cut guys, you know, and, and Bryant held them to, you know, to the line. <laughs> I mean, they got in big time trouble for doing nothing. But, I mean, and, and we've seen in the past there were some things going on, but we don't ever have the trouble that other teams do. But this team, oh, what was it? Well, and Nick Saban just I manages think another it. one said last night, we knew that we had to keep bringing the bubble smaller. Sure. Yeah, no, great point, great point. Hey, Darlene, i got to get to other calls here. We're trying to roll through this 7 o'clock, uh, 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock hour, and I always enjoy the chats. Well, I love yours, too. And Rich and Terry and Joe and Red Bay need to call. Roll Tide. Thank you, Bye. Darlene. Thank you, and uh, calling out everybody. Uh, and we, we've got one line available right now, 205-342-9904. Uh, let's go to Kit Kat, Mobile. Kit Kat, good afternoon. You're in the game. I don't know where to start after all that. Gosh, I, I think Darlene covered half of what I was going to Well, do it again. Do it again. Echo it. It's okay. I mean, it, what a season. I'm just, I mean, I'm just, I'm just sitting here just, you know, it's like, wow. I mean, we're national champions again, right? We've got our A back and we've got our bragging rights back and, oh, we will. And, um, like I said, we haven't heard anything from um, I-Man or Caterman today, have we? Did they call? Uh, we didn't hear this. no, let, but but let me let me also give them an out because the phone lines have been pretty jammed up. Um, uh, okay. okay, yeah. So yeah, I we'll I don't want to because I'm pretty sure that they probably called and want to congratulate us on that championship and you know I mean that's probably what it was. Yeah, you know I mean I'm, the lines were busy. Uh, well, well, um, and, 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 you know, been asking and, everybody how we feel. How do you feel? Well, I mean I got to go see Joe Biden in April, right? <laughs> We'll talk. Anyway, yeah, we're not going to talk politics right now. Um, well, I mean, I mean, isn't isn't my team got to go? I mean, uh, we, I mean, we'll talk. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> well, I mean, no, I mean that, that's, um, that's like the uh, I saw someone last night uh, saying that that's what they were happy for, and I'm like, really? That that's. I mean, anyway, but yeah, right back to it. But uh, yeah, let's not let's not yeah. spoil this. These moments right now with all that. Um, I mean, anyway. if we be, if we got rice and beans left by April, we'll uh, yeah. But anyway, all right, all right. Let's get back. <laughs> let's get back. I mean, uh, Najee Harris pounds that football, and you know, and, and and then the other part of that is you know we didn't mention with Darlene, and I'd like for you to be able to mention this because there's something that we didn't touch. Uh, are you, you talking know, about in the actual game, or no, are you talking about just this in whole a season? And, and- Allow me to read the statistics, and I think you'll pick up on it. 84 of 84, 14 of 14. You, I was going to mention that. I know exactly what you're thinking. Go for it. Thinking. It's all you. Because I named him Golden Toe because we can actually, whoever, not ever thought, but in, with Saban, yeah, definitely, and for a long time, and I'm older than you are, Britt's older than me, and we hadn't had too many good kickers. We were through, we had Three good ones, I think, that I remember. Um, great kickers, but, I mean, wow. Especially after last year when we were just like, oh, gosh, we have, we have, to, we have to kick a field goal. And um, I mean, I, mean, look at, look at the I, I got to the point games. where I wasn't worried. Did look. you ever get to that? I mean, it was like, oh, yeah, he's kicking a field goal. I never thought I would feel that Thank way. Thank you, I Will Rockard, for changing our attitude about uh, field goal attempts. Absolutely. And I didn't see any memes about kicking or anything. I mean, you know, they couldn't they couldn't make any. We couldn't make any because we have a great kicker. I, I mean, was our kicker the best in the country? Well, according to uh, those who vote in the Lou Graza Award, uh, no. Well, that's uh, right. So, I about that. Well, I mean, I guess Absolutely. it's something to work uh, forward to, right? I mean, this is something to uh, to look to. So, it that's just right. we, we they did so many things, and that's why maybe this team is. Uh, you know, such a special, special football team, and it's... Well, I think with it being 2020 and everything that we were going through, and I mean, we I remember in the summer, we didn't know whether we were going to have football. We didn't know what was going to happen, and then they put us in full lockdown, and I mean, 
you're dealing with personal stuff. And, you know, I mean, we needed football because that's just something that just would pull us out of that rut. But we didn't know if we were going to have it. So I think that's part of this whole – I mean, no, this team was great and probably one of my favorite teams. Um, and the things that they overcame – I mean, my God, their coach, their coach had saved I mean, had uh, COVID, you know. I mean, we got through so much. It just, I think, just to win the championship, it just, it, it just kind of sealed everything, and it just makes 2020 not seem like it was just the worst year ever that we've ever gone through. And I know, and I'm not saying that I know that the people lost lives, and I feel very, you know, I care about everybody, and and if I could bring everybody back that we lost their lives, I would, but. I think that there's probably some and some families that this probably helped to heal them and, you know, and, and, sure. and help them too. I mean, football is just one of those things. It's just a sport. Well, and, 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 and I mean, a lot of sports are that way, but football. Yeah. And then, let me, let me, let me say this. I don't want to reveal uh, anything, but, um, and, and we had a very special caller uh, who calls a couple, three times a week uh, who lost his uh, dad. Uh, within the last just uh, probably, uh, well, I think it was late last week, Thursday, Friday, and oh, uh, he no. had sent me a message. Um, and unfortunately, um, you know, he he, he went down and, and went down pretty quick. And I shared a couple of text messages with him, but uh, um, he was talking about this game and this moment. And, and uh, you know, it, it is. I mean, football is a galvanizing moment. I mean, we all remember watching games with our relatives, brothers, sisters, uh, which I don't have any sisters, but, uh, I mean, I'm just saying for everybody, parents, uh, just to be able yeah. to take that in. I mean, I, I can remember my dad, you know, Derek Thomas and uh, Cornelius Bennett in those 80s, Bobby Humphrey, uh, just watching, I mean, those moments. I mean, my dad used to have these cowboy boots that he would put on, and uh, he would get stomping mad. Because you remember, the 80s were not good to Alabama. We, we kind of had some, <laughs> I mean, Believe me, I remember those bad so days. He would get these boots ball. on, and he would go stomping through the house, and it was, you know, Bill Curry. You, you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Mine stayed in the seat, but he just threw stuff at the TV. And yeah. I think, I think I married my dad actually because Britt does the same thing. But well, th- well, there was a lot anyway. of there was a lot of Zenith TVs that were broken back in the day. <laughs> Thank you, Bill Curry. Uh, maybe that's what it was like a partnership with Zenith and uh, all that, but. Uh, Anyway, Kit Kat. Uh, but I mean, really, look, Ryan. If you sit there and you just take and make a list and just write down from start to finish. I mean, look what just look what this team did. Look what just look what they accomplished. It's amazing. It really is. So many things that we never ever. I mean, really, sure. in the back of our minds, we didn't think was going to happen. I mean, not not talking about the championship. I'm just talking about you know. I did at one time think. I'm really not sure that there's going to be any fans in the stadium. I'm really not sure that there's going to that they're going to even have. Them. Well, and, not, and, I mean, and trust me, when you're sitting here doing a show as we do, and there's so much breaking news, a kick hat. There was times that I looked at the guys across the glass and I said, "Man, there's no way we'll play this game." I mean, there was there was I was like a roller coaster, right? That, I mean, yeah, that's what I mean. It was every week. It was something different, and you had to just sit there and say. And then plus, you know, yeah, you're hearing about all the other teams, you know, and all the other places, and I'm um, and oh, I wonder if this is going to affect us. So, sure, sure, and then, and, then, and, and, and shame on the Big Ten for uh, the way that they uh, treated football fans to, yeah, to put them on a roller coaster. I mean, they, uh, in, and at some point, um, if Kevin Warren survives this year, uh, and and he's like, because I know I heard a lot of people praising him, and I'm going, really. I mean, I mean, what? really? I mean, I mean, I heard it. I mean, they they put him on, uh, you know, different television networks. I thought, like, manage it. I mean, I, I mean, did we? Are like we a watching? Family the, member? I mean, well, <laughs> I mean, maybe. Uh, uh, but anyway, hey, Kit Kat, good. Always good to talk to you. Roll Tide. Okay, and Britt uh, Brit was going to call. He's had a little bit of work to do, and then he said he's going to get home. So well, I'm hoping uh, he's scooting on in. Well, hey, we'll be. I get a call from both of us. All right, hey. D- double dose, no problem. Thank you, Kit Kat. Okay. Thank you. Roll Tide. Right. Roll Tide. Hey, and thanks, thanks to guys and I guess Gal and the and the for the good work they've been doing. Well, thank you, thank you. And okay. uh, Roll hey, Tide. We do have an incredible lineup that starts with Martin Houston each morning, six a.m. Uh, Wimp and Barry inside the locker room, seven a.m. till nine, and then we talk uh, Gary Harris, sports director, WVUA. 
locally here and uh, throughout the state on the satellite channels there. So he's from 9 until 11. Uh, Travis Ryer, Southern Fried Sports, 11 until noon. Jay Barker, Lars, Antonio Langham, Trent Richardson, all those guys from 12 and 2 uh, on the Jay Barker Show. And then we get you home uh, 2 until 6. Tonight we're going an extra hour. And, yes, we are live and we're taking your phone calls and we have two lines available here at 205-342-9904. Uh, we'll take your calls if you want to react to Alabama's national championship at 205-342-9904. Tide 100.9, the home of Alabama Crimson Tide Sports. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. You need parts? O'Reilly Auto Parts has parts. Need them fast? We've got fast. No matter what you need, we have thousands of professional parts people doing their part to make sure you have it. Product availability. Just one part that makes O'Reilly stand apart. The professional parts people. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. Come. Live from Miami Gardens, Florida, this is the College Football Playoff National Championship. Here's the throw on the out route. It's caught and taken in for a touchdown by Devontae Smith. He put everybody in motion back and forth and back and forth. Roll Tide. Matt looks long. Matt finds Devontae behind the defense. He is in for a touchdown. Thank you, Mr. Heisman. Thank you, Mr. O'Brien and Unitas Award winner. Alabama does it. Ten regular season SEC wins. An SEC championship, a Rose Bowl championship, and national championship number 18. 13 in all. Absolute perfection. To me, this is the ultimate team. And I'm so proud of this group for what they've been able to accomplish in going undefeated and winning the national championship. The Alabama Crimson Tide. The 18-time national champions. Oh, oh, oh. O'Reilly. You need parts? O'Reilly Auto Parts has parts. Need them fast? We've got fast. No matter what you need, we have thousands of professional parts people doing their part to make sure you have it. Product availability. Just one part that makes O'Reilly stand apart. The professional parts people. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. You are listening to Alabama Tradition with Martin Houston and Ryan Fowler. Your connection to Tuscaloosa and the University of Alabama Athletics on Tide 100.9 and streaming on the Tide 100.9 app. Until 7 o'clock, we're doing the extra hour. Mark Houston uh, will be back with me on Tuesday, but he'll wake you up tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. here on Tide 100.9 as uh, we continue here talking Alabama Crimson Tide football. And it's been a lot of fun to be able to visit with you guys and celebrate this national championship. Uh, the Pharmacy at Midtown, T.J. Thomas, locally owned and operated. All the compounding needs, the only sterile compounding facility in our area. Uh, when you talk about 205-752-0627, Tell you what I did today. I was running a little bit late. And this is the type of uh, customer service that they provide at the pharmacy at Midtown. Second floor was easy, right? You jump into the elevator. You walk up. You won't take the stairs. It's just one flight of stairs. But the elevator is right there. It's right beside uh, the elevator. Uh, so you you jump in. Uh, and, and literally, it, it doesn't take really no time when you talk about uh, processing your prescriptions there. The pharmacy at Midtown, locally owned and operated by T.J. Thomas uh, and you know, you're, you're trying to fa- find a way to, to keep the dollar here, and we always talk about that quite often. Uh, we're taking your phone calls. Let's go to Manchester, Tennessee. Ellis, take a victory lap, my friend. How are you? Kit Kat was in the house. How about that? Yeah. Good to hear from her. Yeah, uh, it, was. Um, it was. It was good. It was, 
listen, man, I, I've heard from so many great people today, and, you know, we, we're still um, – we have time for people to get in if you want to celebrate the uh, championship. So uh, we've still got some audio that I want to work to as well, because uh, man, Nick Saban said so much. I mean, I mean, it it may take us a, you know, three months to unpack all that. I'm running out of gas right now, though, Ryan. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, I couldn't go to sleep last night after that ball game. Could not go to sleep whatsoever. I laid down, tried to go to sleep. Could not go to sleep. Well, I was, look at it like just, this. Look at it like this. You won't have any trouble going to sleep tonight. Right. And it was a good thing. See, because, that, that's the way you, you got to look at it right there, man. You got to look at it just like that right there. You got to look at it <laughs> and you got to say, well, you know, I mean, I know it was rough. I know it was rough, but but I won't have any trouble tonight going to sleep. And that's the way I'm looking at it, man, because um, I was on Jackson. And I had Jackson. somebody tell me, go, were you still listening to that a show? I go, I listened to that show. 365 days a year. I went to it every every day, five days a week. So Is that all y'all know what to do? I go, that's why we win so many championships. Well, it, it, it was just, it was special, man. It was special. How will you remember yes, this? It was, Ryan. It was, and we can all say we sat back and watched a special season and a special team. Uh, do what they did to go through all they went through the testing day after day after day, having them things shoved in their nose every day or mouth or wherever they had to do it at. And uh, they wanted to play. You look at, look at Jalen Waller, you know, he didn't really need to be out there playing, but he wanted to play Ryan. You know, he wanted to be in that game where he could say he was in the championship game. And then you got all them NFL players running their mouth saying, well, you know, they, they're making him play. Didn't nobody make him play. He wanted to play. Well, and just look at a guy that had been cleared medically that wasn't going to be able to do anything uh, to make the injury worse. And you could see the pain. But listen – and 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 I yep, you think you can see that smile on his face when he is out there. And that time. that and, and I know a lot of people are like, oh, come on, you know, he needs to get off the field. But listen, man, um, that's a recruiting poster for Alabama yeah. because people want to go. Hey, hold on a minute, I want to go be, I want to be, be, you know, be a part of that. Be um, a part of it, yeah. Um, uh, it's just amazing, Ryan. Uh, it was amazing to get to see Lander Dickerson uh, just. Uh, pick old Nick Saban up just like a rag doll and carry him off the field there. Just come on, coach. I'm going to tote you for a little bit. <laughs> pretty, it was amazing, though. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool uh, yeah. to be able to watch this uh, team. and uh... We can all sit back and talk about it, Ryan. Years down the road, we can come back and talk about this year and college football, and how special that team was. And it was special to Saban, like you said, because i seen it too, the tear, you know. And uh, like you said, he tried to cover it up and wipe it away, but uh, they wasn't no doing it, you know, because, you know, it was special. Special, special, special. Well, just but, uh... um all right, so here we go, Ellis. Is this your? I don't want to say favorite, but where, where would this championship rank for you? I don't want to push you in, a, in one way or the other. It's it, it's up there, close to the top, right? What year were you born, Ellis? I was born in '64. All right, so you saw. Uh, so you're like me. The first year I was born, Alabama welcomed us with a national title. So you you had '64, '65. You should have had '66. You had '73, '78, '79. 92, 2009, 2011, 2012, 2015, uh, 2017, and in 2020. Uh, I mean, you know, we're playing with house money, right? I mean, I've said that many, many times. But, right. Um, but when you got the best coach in uh, college football, you know, it's all you need, Brian. And he's the best. Hey, did you, see, the, the did you see Lane Kiffin going down to the championship? 
No, I didn't see Lane Kiffin. He did. He went down and um, he was in a box with, uh, I guess it was uh, Julio Jones uh, was there. Uh, Reggie Ragland, I'm just looking at these guys. Uh, is Anthony Jennings there? Um, huh. I think that's Ronnie Harrison right there, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, there's, uh, I mean, uh, Tony Brown. I see Tony Brown there, but I mean, it was a big Alabama room. And, uh, oh, I think that there's uh, Henry Ruggs as well. I see Henry Ruggs over there. Uh, I'm just literally looking at the photos and trying to look at these guys and try to, but yeah, but man, he was, a bunch of, them yeah, he there. was, he was in a, he was in a skybox, man. So he, he wanted to, uh, to go and see those guys. And, uh, you know, it's pretty, pretty nifty, man. He, to misses, see. It, he misses it there, Ryan. Well, I mean, it's the only way he's going to be a part of a championship at Ole Miss. I mean, he. Ole Miss. She like that jab? I mean, that was classic right there. I mean, I, I've been working on that for about three or four hours, but I, I'm, I know I'm bad. I, uh, but, yeah, I just uh, – every time I turned around, I was saying roll tie. Roll tie. What's in, what's, what's in volunteers up there saying about Ellis? Uh, I have one that texts me this morning and say roll tie. Well, good, good. Hey, what's what's the latest with Jeremy Pruitt? I mean, is is he going to make it? Uh, there's, well, they're saying he is, he's got, uh, what, a grad transfer yeah, coming that, to take but, over but his quarterback. Gotta, you got a member. Um, yeah. but they said he's, uh, he, they're, they got caught cheating, but paying money to players. Have you heard about that? Yeah. And there's some important dates coming around and we'll see. I mean, we got plenty of time to talk about it, but, uh, Anyway, it's it's a it's it's a lot of fun to be able to look at, uh, you know, Alabama. We got to hire some coaches, um, but trust me, when you are able to drive a uh, a Porsche or a Lamborghini, I mean, it, it's not hard to convince guys to come and be a part of your program. And uh, you know, I, I asked uh, one time, I asked Burton Burns. I said, uh, I said, Burton, uh, you're you're a world class recruiter. How, how do you become a world-class recruiter? Because this guy, I mean, he brought a lot of these guys out of Louisiana, you know, the the traditional guys that, I mean, we've won championships based on Louisiana players. I mean, look at Devontae Smith. I mean, it's, I mean, not that Burton yeah. Burns was, I don't think he was a part. I'd have to come and I've look. met Burton Burns before. Well, Burton Burns, uh, I asked him, I said, uh, what makes you such a, I mean, what do you do in a living room? He looks at me and says, you want me to tell you? I said, yeah, please do, Coach. I mean, I, I just, I, I'd love to hear, you know, how, you know, w- what you're able to do. He's one of my favorite coaches. And uh, this is what he told me. He said, I got an easy product to sell. And I went, fair enough, fair enough. I mean, it, it's a great point. Thank you, Ellis. Be good, man. Roll time. He's, he's an awesome man. I got to meet him. Yes, he is. Yes, he is, man. Uh, yes, he is. Thank you, Ellis. All right, roll tide. Right back to you. Um, you know, I, I wonder if, uh, you know, look at that offensive line. Jeff Stoutland was 2012 uh, offensive line coach. Um, did the Philadelphia Eagles, didn't they, didn't they just get like their entire coaching, coaching staff up there got fired or a bunch of those guys? Are we, wow. talking, are we talking head coach for the Eagles? Yeah, didn't. didn't uh, yes, Doug Peterson did just get fired. Okay, so I'm just kind of connecting some dots. I mean, I, just, I mean, I'm asking questions. I'm not making statements. So wait, you think Nick Saban's going to Philadelphia? Starting it right here on the game. No, I'm not. No, 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 no. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying I just try to connect the dots, right? I mean, you you, you try to look at uh, hmm, because he was the run game coordinator for um the Philadelphia Eagles. How crazy it is, man! You you win, you lose. I mean, Jeff Stoutland won two national titles here. Just, I mean, I, I'm just saying because you know, I mean, the the rumor was early that Kyle Flood may look at that Texas job. Uh, you know, I don't know if Nick Saban can find a way to keep him here, but uh, there's a lot of coaching vacancy. I'm just trying to connect the dots, man. Just trying to look. I mean, you look at Bill O'Brien. You kind of you tie some of these guys back together and. Like I said, man, that's the part that you don't really have to worry about because Nick Saban's going to recruit the very best. I mean, he's going to bring in guys that you just shake your head. 
Uh, we're going to go to David in Tampa, Ron in Maryland, and then Brett back in Mobile. We're going one extra hour for you, and we're taking your phone calls right now at 205-342-9904. Tide 100.9, the home of Alabama, Crimson Tide Sports. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. You need parts? O'Reilly Auto Parts has parts. Need them fast? We've got fast. No matter what you need, we have thousands of professional parts people doing their part to make sure you have it. Product availability. Just one part that makes O'Reilly stand apart. The professional parts people. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. That is going to do it. The clock is going to wind down. Ten seconds, nine, eight, seven. Players flooding the field here at Hard Rock Stadium. Two seconds, one. And that is it. The final score, Bama 52, Ohio State 24. Alabama does it. Ten regular season SEC wins. An SEC championship, a Rose Bowl championship, and national championship number 18. 13 and all, absolute perfection. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. You need parts? O'Reilly Auto Parts has parts. Need them fast? We've got fast. No matter what you need, we have thousands of professional parts people doing their part to make sure you have it. Product availability. Just one part that makes O'Reilly stand apart. The professional parts people. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Alabama Crimson Tide football on Alabama tradition with Martin Houston and Ryan Fowler in Tuscaloosa on Tide 100.9 and streaming on the Tide 100.9 app. All right, Johnny, that's for you. You requested that song a couple of hours ago. We put it in the queue, and there it is. We're talking Alabama Crimson Tide football. Alabama wins number 18, and we're taking your phone calls. Let's go to David in Tampa, Florida, and then we'll go to Nick Saban, then we'll go to Ron in Maryland. Uh, David, roll tide team, man. Hey, Ryan. Man, I'm glad you went an extra hour today. I wouldn't have been able to get in if, if you hadn't. Well, good. I, I, I kind of smile when I saw your name pop up there, and uh, – your state was good yeah. to the tide last night, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. I got a, a confession. I um Friday night a week ago, you know, I watched I watched the Alabama Notre Dame game and then I watched that Ohio State game. And I'm telling you, man, I got in bed and I couldn't go to sleep because I couldn't figure out how in the heck we were gonna stop Sermon. And uh I mean they run forty, forty five times a game for two hundred and seventy plus yards and I just man, I was I was nervous. I was nervous. And, um, man, that game last night was just incredible. I, I mean, it had so many fantastic moments in it. The Dickerson, I mean, that was probably the topper. But, you know, Smith going off on Wade, you know, the guy that was trying to call him out, saying, you know who I want. That guy looked ridiculous. And then Waddle catching a few passes. I mean, man, that, that game just had it all. And, you know, if anybody's going to say that, you know, Ohio State had people out, it doesn't matter. We had people out, too. We we lost them along the way. And to me, it's just a little poetic justice, you know, the way that their season turned out and, you know, everything. Well, just I couldn't the, be happier, Ryan. Um, and I, did, did I see LeBron Ray out there? Because I know, I know he was giving Alabama. I mean, I'm just looking at, you know, we miss guys, too. I, I'm trying to think if I if I noticed LeBron Ray out there. Um, you know, I don't remember seeing his jersey, but. I, I mean, looking at the participation I'm, side of things. Uh, LeBron, LeBron, LeBron. Uh, yeah, he did. He did. He, he, got, he had one tackle, but I don't know how many snaps he played. I guess I could look it up on participation side of things. But, uh, yeah, but, uh, I mean, we there was guys that were missing. Uh so, 
Malachi. Well, and, and um, I mean, the defense did come through, you know. Sure, yeah, three fourth I mean, down stops. They did. They did. They they had a they had a really good performance. I I thought maybe it was um, maybe their best performance in a couple of years. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting to me that the you know we'll talk about Mac Jones you know going out further, but I mean his place in Alabama history. I mean that was one of the statistically greatest seasons anywhere, let alone Alabama. It's probably the greatest statistical season Alabama has ever had. Seventy-seven point eight. Uh, 77.8 percentage as far as his completion percentage. 11.2 yeah, every throw. Think about that. Every time you make every, a completion, you're, you're picking up 11.2. 41 touchdowns, 4,500 yards. Quarterback rating of 203. I was just worried about getting to 4,000 yards. He got to 4,500. I mean... <laughs> Oh man! I mean, and My, um, and, and, uh, and then Najee running like a madman last night. I mean, are you not going to miss his interviews, Najee? I am because he's so honest. That, that, he's so honest. He is. He's 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 such a nut. He's like the guy next door. I, I saw a little clip today. Somebody was talking about um, you know, like like Ohio State's line wasn't wasn't doing anything. He's like, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> it was pretty. Funny. Well, yeah. We, but now we played the clip earlier. Um, you have it. You have Najee Harris. The clip that we played. Uh, I mean, listen to this. Um, li- listen to this, David. I mean, th- this is Najee Harris here, and I'll go ahead and give you a warning. It's a small three-letter word, but uh, you hear this on the Prices Right or Wheel of Fortune. But uh, here's Najee Harris talking about what you're talking about. Effortlessly. You didn't see what they were doing? They were blowing my eyes up. What are you talking about? It wasn't effortlessly. I'll tell you what. Them do. They they did their thing, bro. To be honest with you, it was just you know they what they did is every time we did a play action, they just shot the gaps. Shot the gaps, the linebackers, and uh, we got a couple of them to play a lot of the fakes. That's why we were able to throw so much bubbles and the slants and all that. But, bro, them, they was blowing my ass up. It was not easy. Because <laughs> they asked him about effortless, and he was like, effortless? Uh, yeah, that was pretty good. Oh, man, that was funny. So, um, I, I, won't, I won't keep you, but um, this flood, did you, you sound like you thought flood might be staying? No, I – unless something. Well, I hate to say this because Nick Saban can reverse and flip a recruit like it's nobody's business. So, uh, who knows? Yeah. Uh, but I, I'd heard a lot of buzz uh, that that he was. I'm just throwing out names. I mean, listen, I I just literally, as Nick Saban says, we throw it up against the wall. I threw it up against the wall because, I mean, look at Jeff Stoutland. I mean, he won two national titles here. He coached the best offensive line well, I mean, I guess we – I was about to say the best line. I mean – Let's bring him back. Well, right. I mean, we're, he's coaching. So, I'm just saying, I mean, he's had, he's in Philadelphia. He's the run game coordinator for Philadelphia. Um, uh, but this Bill O'Brien name is very, very hot. Um, and I've actually got yeah, I, John McClain on tomorrow from the Houston Chronicle uh, to talk about it. Yeah, I don't know much about him as – from an offensive coordinator position. I don't know. Are you excited about that name? Um, yeah, because I've talked to a couple of uh, people uh, who knows him real, real well. Yeah. Plus, um, you know, I mean, he's a uh, he's a dimple guy, and us dimple guys have got to stay together. I mean, he's got the big hoe in his chin, <laughs> and, I, and I've got the big All hoe right. in my chin. Even though I've covered it up, uh, his is a lot more noticeable, but uh, – yeah, I mean, Bill O'Brien's a guy that, um, you know, I mean, you, you, you look at the coach, Paul Bear Bryant, you're uh, Coach of the Year Award in 2012, uh, Big Ten Coach of the Year, uh, Maxwell Coach of the Year in 2012, had a great year. Uh, he knows what, it, you know, Nick Saban expects because he's worked with uh, Bill Belichick. But can he run uh, an offense? Well, sure, offense. sure, just, sure, yeah. sure. Listen, All right. well, I mean, okay, so allow me, okay? You, you look at. His head coaching record in the NFL is fifty four and fifty two. What was Nick Saban's mm-hmm. record in the NFL? I, I don't. I don't even know. Uh, probably Three less than that. It, it went, yeah, right? yeah. It wouldn't. It wouldn't five hundred. So yeah. if you go fifty two and forty eight, I know people are going to point. Excuse me, uh, fifty four and fifty two, and then um, on the college side, 
No, excuse me. Yeah, no, no. College side, fifteen and nine, fifteen and nine. So he was a sixty-two point five percent college coach. He was about a fifty percent on the NFL side of things. But uh, he's groomed some great quarterbacks. I mean, Mike Tatilia. He's age fifty-one. He's got plenty of energy. Um, I heard. I hear he's a workaholic. Um. So, I mean, you. Hmm. I I won't be disappointed. Well, you you know more about him than I do, that's for sure. But, you know, my thought was he, he's been a head coach for so long, right, that he's going to come back now and run an offense in today's offense. It's not, you know, 10 years ago offense. I mean, this is even, you know, the last two or three years it's different. Well, but, but keep in mind, I mean, uh, Deshaun Watson is a mobile quarterback. Uh, I mean, look, look at what Deshaun Watson, I mean, he's a guy that can do a lot of different things, right? I mean, he – yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, we. I don't have to explain that to Alabama fans. So uh, he coached him. Um, A.J. McCarron was part of the Houston, uh, Texas side of things. Yeah. So just kind of keep all those things all right, in, I'll, in, in I'll mind. Keep I mean, you, you, open mind. You, you connect. There's a lot of, a lot of connections on this saving tree. But uh, thank you, David. Hey, next time you talk to Sally, tell him to explain his uh, Heisman choices. Uh, what did, who did he vote for? Did he vote for some crazy? He, 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 he did Smith, which I get. He did T-Law and Grayson McCall. Didn't have Jones anywhere. I mean, how, how do you not put Jones up there with T-Law? Is he just trying to maybe get more votes for Smith? Or I, don't, I, don't, I don't get the logic. I don't know. I, anyway, we won't talk to him until next Monday. But, uh, you know, he also picked Ohio you. State to, uh, to yeah. beat Alabama, too. <laughs> he sure so. did. You got to remind him about that, too. Yeah. I'm going to make him eat some crap. Oh, he, he, he thinks he's going to escape with it uh, next Monday, but we're going to get him. Just remind me. Thanks, David. Let's get him. Uh, All right. Roll tide, Ryan. Let's go from David in Tampa to Ron in Maryland. Ron, good afternoon, man. You're in the game. Roll tide, Ryan. Roll tide. How are you, man? Good. We we did it, Ryan. We, <laughs> we did, did it, it, baby. We hoisted up a trophy in Miami Gardens. You know, that place has been good to us. We beat Miami. Oh, excuse me. We beat Notre Dame. Uh, in Miami Gardens, and now we've taken down the Buckeyes. I know. And a um, couple of things I wanted to say was, first of all, I wanted to thank you. Um, you know, you're in Tuscaloosa, and everywhere you turn, it's Alabama this, Alabama that. I live in Maryland. There is nothing Alabama up here. But through your show, you, your callers, um, the – close to the source information that you put out and everything it helped I, I i really enjoyed working our way through this season um with me listening to your show and well, thank uh, you ron i appreciate the kind words and um uh, it's people like you that support us uh who listen to us who you know download our tide 100.9 app and allow us to communicate via that app to you and it's not just here in football season because you know it, it, there's no way possible just to come in and do 15 weeks and then out of here. Uh, you know, it takes doing this year round. And you know, I, I started doing radio as Tuscaloosa's longest running sports show, and people were like, "There's no way that you can do a show year round. There's no way. It's just not possible to do a sports show four hours. Are you kidding?" And it's <laughs> it's people like you that have allowed us because it takes, listen, I won't lie. Uh, sometimes May and June can be a lonely uh, studio because you're, you're trying to create conversations. And then when you don't have a spring football and you're having to go, okay, it's kind of like a guessing game, right? You're, you're guessing. You're, you're like, okay, well, we think we have this and we think we have this and we think we have this. So it's people like you that support us during this time and during the off season that allows us to do what we're able to do. and uh, Well, it is a pretty daunting task when you know you have to get on the air and <laughs> you've got to have something to say. Well, Tommy's worked with me hours. since 2014 across the glass. Uh, he's part of our team. Uh, we have a lot of people that are part of our team, and they work uh, in a lot of different areas. But, um, you, I mean, there's there's days that I walk in, I'd be like, okay, and we're talking about 115, and it's like, okay, where, where do I really want to go? <laughs> or you've got a complete show plan and there's something breaks between you've already done your prep work, you've already written out all your cue sheets, you've already written out your audio, you've already got it pulled, 
And then something breaks, and it's like, okay, where do you go? And, and you just, like, flip. You completely take a conversation and can it. And, you know, you, you have people that work behind the scenes who pull audio. And, I mean, we're not a national show. We're, we're a Tuscaloosa-based show. And uh, I, I'm very appreciative for you guys supporting us every day. Well, I just wanted to tell you that. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Season. And, you know, um, just about every player on this team, we could sit here and talk about their story about this year. But the, just one that I wanted to mention was, you know, when uh, Landon Dickerson transferred from FSU, I was kind of like, you know, okay. Well, he'd had so many injuries. Look at <laughs> look at the injuries. Yeah, he's he's been so injured. I said, you know, what is he ever going to really do for Alabama? But, you know, most football games, Unless turnovers dictate the game, most football games are won in the trenches. Um, if you don't have the horses up front, you don't usually win. And uh, so I think he was almost like the heart and soul of this team. And um, I never had really seen anything like when he got injured and they were loading him on the cart. And every player on the team went out there to say something to him. I, I, I just never seen anything like that. And then for this game, um, you know, he's just a few weeks out of having major knee surgery, and he didn't want to um, be on the sideline just in sweats or something with his teammates. He wanted to be in full uniform and pads and everything, and so they chose to have him go out for the coin toss as the captain. And um, then <laughs> he convinced Nick Saban, on those last two snaps, you know, in the victory formation, to go out just so he could participate in the game. How cool was that? Go out there and snap the ball. That was so cool. Knowing, you know, knowing that he was injured and he wanted to go out there just so he could say he was in that national championship game. And uh, then carrying Saban off the field. That it was it was just crazy. So I just wanted to kind of give a shout out to him. But you could do that with just about every player on this team. Every one of them. Every one of them has a great story. And um, another one, Will Reichert, I mean, he was perfect for the season and didn't win the, the Groza Award. I mean, you could just go down the line of everybody on this team. Great point. Great point. Hey, Ron, thank you, man, as always. We, we, we're we running out of time because I have nowhere to go at, at that 7 o'clock, so I'm I'm going to be out of, out of time. So I appreciate you, man, as oh, always. One real quick thing. You're yeah. talking about people being tired. I went to bed at 2 o'clock in the morning and had to get up at 5.45 to go to work. <laughs> oh, Lord. But I made it. I made it. Thank you. Hey, we're, we're all, I mean, I just looked up at the clock, and I'm like, okay, can I can I go 10 more minutes? And uh, good thing I've got two <laughs> phone calls here uh, back to back. Right. Uh, thank you, Ron. Okay, roll tide. Right back to you, Ron in Maryland. Uh, Tommy's giving me the break sign. I'll get uh, Brett and Gavin next. Tuscaloosa Tide, 100.9. The home of Alabama Crimson Tide Sports. Here. Live from Miami Gardens, Florida, this is the College Football Playoff National Championship. Here's the throw on the out route. It's caught and taken in for a touchdown by Devontae Smith. He put everybody in motion back and forth and back and forth. Roll Tide. Matt looks long. Matt finds Devontae behind the defense. He is in for a touchdown. Thank you, Mr. Heisman. Thank you, Mr. O'Brien and Unitas Award winner. Alabama does it. Ten regular season SEC wins. An SEC championship, a Rose Bowl championship, and national championship number 18. 13 and all absolute perfection. To me, this is the ultimate team. And I'm so proud of this group for what they've been able to accomplish and going undefeated and winning the national championship. The Alabama Crimson Tide. The 18-time national champions. The sky becoming partially sunny this afternoon. The high today, 49. For tonight, mostly fair with a low at 28. Tomorrow, a mix of sun and clouds with a high at 52. Thursday, the warming trend continues. The sky partly to mostly sunny with a high at 57. I'm James Spann on the ABC 3340 Weather Center on Tide 100.9. 
The host of the game, Ryan Fowler, and the host of the Martin Houston Show, Martin Houston, have combined to offer a show filled with in-depth analysis of Alabama football and more. Alabama Tradition broadcasts live on Tide 100.9 every Tuesday from 6 to 7 p.m. and is available live and on playback on numerous affiliates around the Southeast. Check out alabamatradition.com for a list of affiliates as well as other great content. So let's continue here. Alabama Crimson Tide football. Uh, we go to Brett down in Mobile. Brett, good afternoon, man. You're in the game. Hey, Brian. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. What a uh, what a performance. Uh, yeah, great game. Great game. Were you nervous? So the <laughs> that's an understatement. I know, but I mean, that's I just I wanted you to state it on the air for the record. <laughs> Well, yeah, yeah, a little bit. But yeah, the 24 hours are almost up, so it's time to start worrying about 19, right? Sure. I mean, we, yeah, I mean, I mean, we've already had one caller that said the road to 19 uh, starts uh, today. Now. Yeah. And, yeah, uh, exactly. 24 hours. Isn't that the rule, saving rule? 24 hours? So yeah, no, no. We're worrying about 2019. We, what, uh, no, excuse me, the 19 championship. But no, it was a fantastic game. It was. But yeah, I was a little nervous when uh, Mac fumbled, and uh, but we won, and it's over, and we are where we're supposed to be, and uh, all Alabama fans should be happy as can be. Correct? I hope. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, I mean, and uh, absolutely. I mean, when you when you look at it, and I mean, it's been a long season. It's been a long season, and uh, these guys yeah, have well, given us a lot to enjoy. It was a great team. It was a fantastic team, man. But uh, I had, I, I did, yeah, I, but seriously, I was seriously all I could think about all day was like, what are we going to do next year? <laughs> I mean, it's like we got, you know, can we do it again? Do we have the talent? How many people going to lose? Uh, and uh, like your previous caller, yeah, I was up to two in the morning too, and I had to be up to five forty-five too. <laughs> I mean, that was the same thing. Well, like, Brett, Brett, let me ask you this. Um... What year were yeah. you? What year were you born? Sixty-four. Uh, so you is same age uh, as Ellis. He called in early and said he was born in sixty-four. Uh, you've watched sixty-four, sixty-five. Should have been, got sixty-six, seventy-three, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, ninety-two, two thousand nine, two thousand eleven, two thousand twelve, two thousand fifteen, two thousand seventeen, two thousand twenty. Uh, where would this team rank? Oh, good question. Um, Let's see, 77, 78, 79 teams. Did you say that? 77, no, I, mean, I just went through the Either. national titles that you've been involved in as your life. 64, 65, 73, 78, 79, uh, 92, 2009, yeah. 2011, 2012, 2015, 2017, 2020. Yeah, they're all special. Sure. They really were. Right. I mean, I mean, I was, I've been to what should have been three in a row. 77 or 78 Sugar Bowl, 79 Sugar Bowl, 80 Sugar Bowl should have been three in a row, but that, that's just me. But uh, uh, those unbiased members of the media, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was there for those three Sugar Bowls in a row, and they were great. Uh, 92 team was fantastic. Uh, sure. Uh, Coach Saban coming and getting us to 2000. Oh my! I mean that. I mean they're all different. Saban has valid point. It was like and he, he, and every team. This team was special. It really was because it was like a team that I've never seen before. Yeah. Like a team. I mean everybody contributed. I mean I know every all the other ones were team. And they all say that they were a team, but sure, sure. This one was a little bit, a little, little bit different, but the best one. Wow, incredible! Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I'm just I'm mm. throwing it out there. And I'm limited because I'm pissed to go out, uh, out of the top of the hour. I'm here. sorry. No, but I, I just yeah, I know you. Yeah, I just kind of wanted you to. Uh, and, and I'm and, still thinking. I mean, that's, okay. That's well, a well, hard well question. yeah. Let me, let me not put you on the spot, but uh, I got I got to get out of here because I'm I'm literally yeah, out of time. Right, but right. uh, sorry, right. I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah, all right. Thank Good you. Deal. Thank you, Brett and Mobile. Uh, let's go here to Gavin. Gavin, you're going to finish this up, man. Roll Tide to you. Roll Tide, Ron Fowler. Man, what a beautiful day it is in Alabama. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for all your spending blessings. You are the man. Ron, thank you so much for all you do. 
You know, you, the reason I listen to this radio station is amazing. Well, thank you. Thank you, Gavin. And I know my colleagues here inside 100.9 really appreciate it, man. I just want to let you know, you guys, I listen to you guys down here. I'm just coming out of the woods in Thomaston, Alabama. Our rut kicks off next week. Uh, we had we had a special party last night at Big Mike's well, uh, Steakhouse uh, there. What, what, time and, are we, uh, what time are we hunting Saturday? What, what time did you say? Man, the rut the rut kicks off in about two or three days. I mean, we're like right here on the verge. Well, I know, I know, so. I'm, I know, I know. What time I need to be there? Come on. What time I need to be you there? Come Gavin? anytime you want. I'll okay. be there Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday next week. Well, I mean, it, Tommy. Time, time. All right, thank you, Gavin. Roll Tide to you, brother. Roll Tide. Roll Tide, Gavin Thomas in Alabama. There, uh, listening to us and talking about big mics. Uh, Tommy, you want to host the show next week? I need to chase a. Uh, Oh, West Alabama deer, man. I mean, you you want to you want to. You might want to get Ludman or somebody better. I'm more suited behind the board. We had a lot of fun, man. I appreciate your hard work. Uh, Tommy worked last night all the way until this morning uh, with the pregame, the game day, all day coverage, uh, post game. Uh, him and Bryant ran Eli Gold and all that, and we appreciate your hard work, man. Go get some rest. You, you don't have to do 95 through the bear tonight, do you? Of course I do. What are you talking about? Radio doesn't sleep, and neither do I. Uh, Mr. David DeBose, pay this man. Pay this man. Pay this man. Pay him more. Give him a free pizza. Order it. Uh... All right, listen. I've enjoyed it, man. National Championship. We'll do it again tomorrow. Martin Houston tomorrow morning. Uh, Wimpy Berry at 7. Gary Harris at 9. Travis Bryant at 11. Jay Barker at noon. I'll see you at 2. Uh, thanking our law enforcement officers, EMTs, firefighters. You guys are incredible. We don't say thank you enough, but we do on this program. I remind you that we call this program the game. And the only way, the only way, the only way you can win the big game, the game of life, is to walk daily with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Good night, T-Town. Thank you, Nick Saban. You're the best. Talk to you tomorrow, too. Get 15% off a set of Brake Mess Select, Select Pro, or Import Direct brake pads and two rotors now at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts.